Hello my fellow battle sisters, and welcome to Mankind and the 40k universe. While every species has its ups and downs, mankind seems to have a yo-yoing effect more than others. Never truly hitting rock bottom, but never able to stay at the top for very long. Better buckle into your dropship, arm yourself with a chainsword, because the history of mankind is a long one and is filled with endless atrocities and heresy. Humans reside and come from the planet Terra, though they do have other worlds that have human settlements on them. Bipedal mammals that tore through the galaxy in seven stages before they reached where they are now. Imperial historians categorize the seven stages as Age of Terra, Age of Technology, Age of Strife, the Unification Wars, the Great Crusade, the Horus Heresy, and finally, Age of Imperium. Now let's take a look at each of the seven stages. Age of Terra, from the 1st to the 15th millennium, where mankind went from pre-industrial Iron Age to star-spanning Fusion Age. This is the time in which mankind dominated over Terra, becoming the ruling species of the planet, and extended their reach to the stars above. Next is the Age of Technology, from the 15th to the 25th millennium, an age where mankind had pushed the limits of what they thought possible, creating warp drive and ignoring all warnings to go past their own space. Something of note is this is the first time psychers are found, growing in numbers practically overnight, though they weren't all met with welcome. But as the peak of the technology is like a mountain, the other side and down, down went humanity. Technology, which we had grown to have their own thoughts, turned against us and brought entire systems to their knees, wiping us from history. Then the warp storms came, the worst that we had ever seen, cutting off all interstellar travel and trade and leaving pioneer planets to scavenge and try and survive. We now know that those warp storms came from the Eldar, but at the time, we had no idea. Age of Strife, 25th to 30th millennium, is a 500 year period of war and anarchy that brought mankind to the brink of extinction. We regress in technology and our very existence turning on each other in hopes of surviving one more day. This was caused by negative psychic and physical effects of the warp storms, those created in the fourth chaos god, Slanish. While I will go into Slanish and its birth in later detail, do know that the Xenos species of Eldar are to thank for this. But in humanity's darkest hour, the horrors that mirrored our prosperity and light came to us. The Emperor of Mankind stepped forward to lead us back into the light. Praise the Emperor. After the Emperor stepped up, the Unification Wars began. At the end of the Age of Strife, when warlords and cyber mutants were rising and falling from power in almost a blink of an eye, the Emperor felt the warp storm starting to subside, and he knew it was our time to push forward and begin anew. He created warriors to help reclaim Terra, to calm the calamity that had destroyed so much of our planet, and then turned his eyes to interstellar travel. He formed his council, creating a treaty to protect the tech priests of Mars, and set out to reunite mankind across the stars. During this time, the Emperor created the Primarchs, 21 of them, to help him in his quest to retake the galaxy for humanity. Chaos, the monstrosities that they are, saw this and took steps to scatter the Primarchs across the stars, no longer wishing to take a back seat in mankind's history. So our great leader, the Emperor, had to find them, reclaiming them for all of humanity. This led straight into what is called the Great Crusade, 
the time in which the Emperor flew through the stars to reclaim the Primarchs, finding them on planets that were far beyond what we could imagine, and setting them on the path of reclaiming the universe for humanity. The Primarchs worked tireless, tirelessly, moving from galaxy to galaxy, reigning in ruly settlements and aiding to those who thought they had been abandoned. Everything seemed to be going perfect, but nothing is done without conflict, and soon the Great Crusade was ended with a heretic, a heretic that brought humanity to a halt, one from the inner ranks of Primarchs, Horus. The Horus heresy only lasted nine years, but it was a betrayal that we have never seen again. Horus, who was influenced by chaos undivided, turned against his brothers and ripped everything that had been sown in the last years. This will be its own video as the Horus heresy is long and needs to be told by itself. But do know that we won with great loss on our side. The Emperor of Man now lives in the Golden Throne on Terra, where he waits and waits and waits. This, however, does lead us into the Age of Imperium, which is what we live in today. We are once again trying to find our way in the galaxy and bring in settlements that once again felt like they had been lost and forgotten. Thank you for listening to my brief explanation of mankind and the 40 key universe. If you like what I do, please subscribe and like the video. This will help me greatly. But for now, I must go and slay some chaos demons. I am your Saint Gwen, your sister of battle, and I shall see you in the next one.